What's going on guys? Welcome back to A World of Better Magic. Guys, tonight we're gonna to crack open another collector box. These things seem to be loaded with value still yet. I was looking over the list, there's actually like 35 cards or variances of certain cards. 35 of them that's still over 20 bucks, all the way up to roughly 100. So hopefully we can keep pulling some value out of here. We got a box break for uh, four different people. We got Brian, Lucas, Matthew, and Steven up to the plate here good luck guys guys do me a favor like comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't really means a lot easy way to help support us and what we're trying to do check out our tcg player affiliate link it is in the description below as well as our facebook group that is where everything takes place our pre-orders and all that good stuff guys it is all in our facebook groups so check it out if you uh, want a pre-order Again, go to our Facebook group, but you can uh, order through the lotuslookout.com. Use the code that's on the screen right now, and you will save 10% store-wide on uh, everything you order, guys. And we get a small kickback to that to the group, so it's a great thing. helps us out a lot. And one other way to help support is our Patreon. Some more benefits to that as well, guys. You get a code for 15% off. For the store again that's store wide as well as uh randomly we do certain little giveaways and stuff like into our box breaks i think it was uh one of our last boxes of ultimate masters double masters um basically we do a randomizer for all the patrons and one lucky person wins a uh an entry into a box break so they got like what did he end up winning i think he got three or four double masters packs and then he ended up winning the uh, extra like six packs we done of Strixhaven on top of it so he got like a hundred and twenty dollars in value in packs it's not counting the pools and stuff so it's a great thing guys check it out so i've rambled on long enough let's get this separated for everybody just got off work a little bit early actually it's always nice three packs start from left to right let's get it center a little bit better we got brian up next extra turns if you want to know what that is well it's pretty simple brian well he likes his combos and he likes taking extra turns guys that is simple as it comes that's that's it we play over a spell table a lot we have our own discord and all that stuff guys as well diamond light and uh you gotta watch brian he will take some extra turns on you fractured sanity and ornithopter of paradise curious to see what that card ends up at guys it's a great card <laughs> and starting off with a scalding tarn pack one and a etch foil Man is always getting some fetches out of these box breaks. Bray's Apprentice. I'll put it here. Skip through to our land. Got an island. Resurgent Belief. Guys, where do you think this box is going to end up at? As far as. Oh, I'm skipping through everything. Old factory, amazing looking art. Skill, guard on, and a talisman, convention with territorial kavu. Ice fang coddle, not really what we're looking for. That pack was a bust. I'm telling you, I could see these boxes in just a little bit of time. As soon as it dies down a few months from now and stuff, I could see these boxes hitting four and five hundred dollars again. Nettle cyst. There's so much good stuff in it and value-wise. Harvest hand. Foil bone shards. Liquid metal torque. Another talisman. 
Love these. With a profane tutor edge foil. And an Archmage Charm. Nice. That, uh, I'm not sure where this is at. I know it recently shot up in price, uh, not too long ago. I haven't checked this one out yet. Should be a nice pull, though. The old border foil. And a Scalding Tarn. So it wasn't bad. I think the charm shot up to like 20 bucks recently. Like I said, I'm not sure about that one. I'm talking about the original. So we got my man Lucas up next. It's been a minute since Lucas has been around. Welcome back. Hopefully, we can pull you some serious value out of here. It's always a great way to start back. Starting us off with a forced and master of death. Harvest. Thought monitor. Amoeba. Blazing Ruwala. And a Vindicate Etch Foil. And an Urza Saga. That is a great one to hit. Showcase Foil. One of the higher end uh, cards on the list. Really nice pull. See if I can scroll up real quick just to see where we're at. There's a saga, doesn't say showcase. It's a, basically a $30 card. And again, that's, I can't see the foil variants. So that is a great uh, pack one. Let's see if we can keep it going. Unmarked grave. The old zoologist for your showcase with a foil thopter chatter storm and glimpse of tomorrow your etch foil and fortune's flame not a whole lot there Let's see if we can't step it up Territorial Kaboo. Chatterfang, Squirrel General. Don't pull that one very often. What? Really nice pull. The wife says hi. I'm, I'm doing a video real quick. Glimmer Burn. With Peru. With Volatile. And the Ooze. Not too bad, not the best packs. Still only got one fetch so far. You did get a Chatterfang and an Urza Saga. Definitely two best hits of the packs. For Lucas, we got Matthew coming back again. Matthew gets in a lot of these, so hopefully we can keep it going for him. He may have got our uh, Mana Crypt. We done a Mystery uh, Booster Box not too long ago. May have been Matthew, I can't remember. Thrasta, Thrasta, Tempest Drawer, little dinosaur. It's cool looking art. Not a whole lot of value, but it's a really cool, cool art. Defile, the Soul Talisman. Suspend, I can't. It's, it's just not good. And an endurance foil. There you go. That's a nice one. Borderless. The non foil of this is 40 bucks. So that is definitely a solid hit if I'm looking at borderless endurance on TCG. Yes, yeah, it's 40 bucks right now. That is a great way to start. Yeah, I'm really curious to see where these boxes end up, guys. I think it's right now everybody sees them flooded onto the market and everything, and the prices are tanking, or they have. I mean, they dropped basically a hundred bucks for a box, close to that. Ooze, skip and stuff, and grist, showcase. Could really see them shooting back up pretty quick. Bone shards. 
Goblin bomb Bombardment, your etch foil, and a beautiful Verdant Catacombs. He is cleaning up. He's had two really amazing pulls so far. Both packs. If I'm not mistaken, fetches are slowly starting to climb back up also. Peru. I picked up a ton of fetches in general. Right at release because everybody was dumping them really cheap. And they're fetches. They're playable and everybody wants them. The old Nightmare Adept. And another Profane Tutor. Borderless Foil. Another solid pull. He done really well. Three big hits. I believe the Tutor is up there. I'm not going to keep scrolling up to check, but you got a Catacombs and an Endurance. Really amazing pulls for Matthew. That's Steven. Good luck, sir. Still only had two fetches, so you may end up really well here in the close. Sanctifier. As we should be doing Vindicate. Amazing looking art. Non foil. Well, if I've already said it or not, we should be doing some set boxes tomorrow for DD. &D. Greed. Another ooze. I think that's our third or fourth one of the box. Another Peru. Again, third or fourth one of the box. I didn't realize the set was already releasing this fast, guys. I just got back from vacation, went to the lake, Verdant Catacombs, there you go. Great way to start the pack. Steven will set that off to the side. Just got back from vacation, took a little break, much needed, really enjoyed. Garth, one eye. Edge foil, uh, fractured sanity. Yeah, we went to the lake, got a lake house and stuff for, for a week. Me and the wife and kids and in-laws and everybody, we got our own rooms and stuff. And, uh, guys, it was a lot of fun. Went fishing, caught a huge uh, striper, striped bass. I don't know if anybody's into that kind of thing, but I definitely love fishing, guys. Persist. Y'all are like, stop talking about fishing and crack the packs. I get it. Red Canner, Cleric, another Profane too. There was a lot of duplication in this box, guys. Not bad duplication. I mean, there were some good hits. I think we got three Tutors, three Fetches, two of them was Catacombs. Some, some good packs. Not bad at all. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Sponsoring another box. It's always fun. Again, check out all the links in the description below. I'm going to get all this packaged up, probably sent out tomorrow. And uh, we're actually getting ready to do another video for another box for uh, Dakota. Getting that set up. What's going on, guys? I just decided to, uh, I'm just going to put this video with uh, the box we just cracked open for uh, the box break we just done. This box is going out to uh, Dakota. So we're going to just merge the videos together. Figured it'd be easier than just doing two separate boxes videos especially since D, D should be tomorrow i don't want to try to upload three or four videos back to back so we're just going to merge this one with the other video so good luck and uh here we go guys again guys if you haven't like comment subscribe to the channel it really helps me out it's an easy way to do so to help support and check out all the links down below is uh his second box if i'm not mistaken second or third modern horizons 2 collector box no point shuffling all going to him well that pack did not want to open all right here we go 
skip through the board stuff. See if we can't pack one a fetch here. Suspend. Lens Flare. Harmonic Prodigy. Can we pack one a fetch land? Here we go. Goblin Engineer. Your Etch Foil. And a Chatterfane Squirrel General. A Retro Foil. That is a great way to start. Chatter thing. Let's see if I can see that on the list in front of me. Which I do not. Alright, not sure where it's at. Sanctifier. And with the Charmaw. And an Arid Mesa, Etch Foil, Pack 2, not too bad. Let's see how many we can get. The Blood Braid and the Squirrel. His last box, if I'm not mistaken, still cleared like a hundred hundred bucks in the profit. So it wasn't the, the best box either was the crazy thing that we'd done recently. Glimpse of tomorrow. But he's still, I mean, like I said, come out ahead. Imperial Recruiter. Borderless. Greed. And Garth Wanna. Edge Foil. With a Soul Talisman. Oh, Suspend. Chef's Kiss. Suspense not the worst thing. It's just, it's so easy to, to I guess, counter and stuff. Burn command. Just because it's, everybody sees it coming. I mean, you get three turns on most stuff to deal with it. And the Force Negation. There we go. That is what he was looking for. It is an Etch Foil. Do these only come in Etch Foil? Or can you get them in the Retro... Just a foil, I can't remember. But that's what he was wanting. A force of negation. There you go. That is a really solid pull. Set it off to the side. So I know he was wanting that one. Persist. And your foil showcase. Let's see if I can even see it on here. Bear with me, guys. I'm gonna, we're gonna slow roll it for a second. TCG player. Is it like a hundred bucks? Roughly on TCG player? I see one on here for a hundred bucks. Not sure what total value is, but there's one listed for a hundred. So we will gladly take that. Bray's Apprentice. Gargadon. And he got the monkey. Oh, that is that is beautiful. Back to back, one hundred dollar packs. I think it's like a hundred dollar card right now. Non foil. Let me see here. It's the most expensive card in the set. Borderless is ninety two bucks right now. That is what you're looking for. Back to back, one hundred dollar packs. Braids and the old mirror's wake. Beautiful art. Really nice. I wouldn't mind having one of these myself. Haven't pulled one yet. Congrats on those uh, packs. That was crazy. Force of Negation and the Monkey Pirate. The Diamond Line. Priest of Fell Rights, 
Ornthopter, Bone Shredder, and a Force of Vigor. Not bad. Persist. I think Force of Vigor is 10, 12, 15 bucks. Was. Honestly, not sure anymore. I haven't really checked some of this stuff in a while. I'm just doing it now as we go on some of them. Damn. Boros. Not a bad pull. Harvest Hands. Harvest Hands. Tide Shaper. Step through. Persist. Another like third one. Third or fourth. Territorial Kavu. Need a fetch. What we got left? Five more to go. That is the first pirate I've pulled, if I'm not mistaken. And a Verdant Catacombs. There you go. As, uh, pulling fetches is, guys, it's just awesome. I don't know what else to say about it. I think I ended up and a chatter fame. This is definitely shaping up to be a really, really good box. Non foil, but you got a squirrel general and a monkey pirate and two fetches so far. Riptide laboratory with an ice fang coddle. Got an island with a soul talisman. Murktide Regent. Little dragon showcase. Chatterstorm. Back to back Chatterstorm foils. Inevitable betrayal. Your etch foil with a thought monitor. Alright, we got three packs to go. Hopefully it don't die down on us. It's finished strong. Get a couple more fetches. Resurgent belief. Maybe we can double up on those pirates. Wouldn't that be something? Magus, the bridge. A talisman of conviction. Ranger, captain of Eos. And a foil dam. Another decent one to pull. I think that's, what, 20 bucks? Roughly. Let's see if I can find it real quick. I'm scrolling. Damn, retro frame. Extended art. That's only seven bucks right now for the non-foil. Not sure where the foil variance is set in that. There's definitely dropped some out of time almost out of time my camera's rolling I've got seven minutes left counter spell first one of the night non foil it's really nice artwork plenty enough time to finish the videos though salvage sterling grove your etch foil and another force of negation god there you go that is the retro frame so you got the etch foil and the freaking oh there you go congratulations you wanted one you flipping got two of them guys that was like 200 bucks 250 bucks not long ago i'm gonna look it up here in a second that's insane can we double and a marsh flats there you go three fetches so far two forces and a monkey pirate. I know you're going to be so excited to see this box. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. And ending with a Chitter Spitter. That's nuts. Alright guys, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Bear with me. Force of Negation. Where is that? Force of Negation Retro Foil. Sorry, I hit the camera. 
retro frame. What do they have? I know y'all are probably tired of just sitting there, but I'm curious. Here we go. Retro frame. Let's see what we're setting at, guys. I gotta know. This man's hitting some serious value out of here. Near mint foil. Still around 120 bucks. So you got two cards for 100 bucks. You got 300 dollars roughly in these three cards. Then your fetches. Congratulations, it was a great box. I'm gonna send you a list of everything just to show you. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Some crazy boxes tonight. Stay tuned for D and D. It should be tomorrow. Check out all the links in the description below, guys.